In France this week, bus, metro, and train workers went on strike against labor law reforms announced by French President Nicolas Sarkozy. The strikes, which left thousands of commuters stranded, marked the beginning of what could be a tough battle for the new president. Sarkozy came into office vowing to face down French unions and enact cost-cutting reforms. This week's strikes involve a half million workers and over a million pensioners. Sarkozy's plans also include thousands more, postal employees, magistrates, and other civil servants, and all of them are planning to strike later this month. Newspapers like the Times of London and magazines like The Economist say Sarkozy has the support of most of the French people and call his reforms wise. But union members disagree. To get a better understanding of the issue, The Real News talked to Tim Costello, a global labor organizer. Well, what's happening in France is sort of a, something that's happening uh, around the world, and that is that governments and corporations are trying to roll back a lot of the gains that workers made in labor protections and social benefits you know, in the last 50 years. It's a battle that's really being fought in many different countries, and France um, has for the past few years really been in the thick of things. mobilisés ici, il ne faut pas inverser les choses. Si on est mobilisé ici, c'est justement pour que les gens qui souhaitent étudier puissent le faire. Et puissent le faire gratuitement et librement. Et étudier ce qu'ils souhaitent étudier. This is part of a struggle that really started uh, last year. When the, uh, there were massive strikes in 2006 when the French government tried to impose labor market reforms. They lost. The French government lost at that time. Sarkozy was part of that government, and he pledged, though, uh, to join the election to come back with new reforms. This is the first, his first attempt to do that, uh, and he's, picked, he's been much more clever this time because he's picked one sector, the public sector, uh, in, in a way to divide the population. On a jeté énormément de choses. Donc euh, beaucoup de baguettes, beaucoup de sandwichs, euh, beaucoup de viennoiseries. Donc euh, ça non plus pour la France, je pense pas que ce soit très très bon. President Sarkozy has said he's willing to discuss the fine points of his planned reforms, but that he is determined to enact his overall cost-cutting agenda. Par le président de la République. La porte du dialogue reste ouverte. Mais ces réformes, nous les ferons parce qu'elles doivent être en faites. Tous les pays qui les ont faites ont eu des résultats. Of course, it is always necessary to adjust to changes in sort of the global situation. The question is, how do you make the adjustment to the era of globalization? That's the key issue. Do you simply discard uh, what was won, or do you try to adapt economies uh, to, the, to the global realities without doing that? Cross-border organizing, cross-border cooperation is essential on the part of trade unions in today's world. Uh, the corporations are global. Unions also have to become, uh, to, to, to become global. 